second. Um, I should probably do that right now. Um, our host, Randy Schwartz, uh, who's heading up the incubator here and the dean of something else, and our assistant dean does a great job. And we're thrilled to be here. We've got a wonderful partnership uh, that is developing. And this is a great facility. It's probably one of the gems of Westchester. And I, I thank them and I thank you for, for being here. Uh, also a shout out to Randy's assistant, Kathleen O'Connor, who without her help, this wouldn't happen. So, Kathleen, wherever you are, thank you. Randy? She's got notes. She's on. We can't put it all up here. Too much to say. So, uh, good morning, everyone. So, as I said, I'm Randy Schwartz, director of BioInc at New York Medical College, and I'm also the associate dean for academic administration. So, I'd just like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone and thank you all for coming. Uh, for those of you who haven't been here before, BioInc at New York Medical College is the Hudson Valley's only biotechnology incubator located on a Health Sciences University campus. So, for those just to give you a little bit of background about BioInc, uh, we offer customized space and business resources, research <coughs> and development laboratories. Also, with the knowledge and experience of our scientists and clinicians and our students, and they are all available to the entrepreneurial and business community of Westchester County and the entire Hudson Valley. So I want to give you a little bit of background about New York Medical College for those of you who aren't familiar. So New York Medical College is a member of the Toro University System, and it is one of the nation's oldest and finest health sciences university. New York Medical College has approximately 1,500 students in its three schools. It has a school of medicine, a graduate school of basic medical science, and a school of health science and practice. New York Medical College has over 2,600 faculty members, many of whom are nationally recognized scientists and clinicians. And most recently, the Toro College of Dental Medicine at New York Medical College was opened. And this is the first dental school in New York State to open within the last 50 years. So back to Bio, back to Bio Inc. So to date, Bio Inc. has nine resident companies working in the fields of biotechnology, digital health, precision medicine, and medical technology. Philips Healthcare, a division of Royal Philips, many of you are probably familiar with Philips, uh, just became our anchor tenant here at BioInc at the end of uh, December. And they recently opened a 1,300 square foot genomics lab here in our facility. And we're very happy to partner with them. So BioWeek has been expanding its reach and going global. We're currently developing partnerships with institutions and startup companies in Canada and Israel. So as you all know, the Hudson Valley is thriving with innovation and advances in biomedical, high tech, and the life science industries. So BioInc at New York Medical College is one of the leaders in helping to create a strong innovation environment for biotechnology and high tech in the region. BioInc at New York Medical College, along with ICANN New York, is the Mid-Hudson Valley region's innovation hotspot. And this is a designation received to us by New York State, and this allows us to afford our clients here at BioInc with many tax benefits, which is very adaptation to these startup companies just beginning to do their work and establishing their minimum viable product. So we are constantly looking for new ways to support our entrepreneurs and startup and attract new companies here to BioAid. I'm very glad I have this opportunity to share with you just a little bit about who we are. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. So meetings like this would not be possible without our sponsors. We have two wonderful sponsors today. We have uh, Morgan Stanley, Anthony and Julie, and we have <laughs> Susie Chang. We're going to get to Susie in just a little bit. She's one of the presenters today, so it's full board. So Anthony and Julie, come up. Thank you very much. Thank you for your sponsors. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, so we're proud to be 
be here. We were at the February breakfast in White Plains at Koi. Uh, so some familiar faces, and uh, we're happy to be a part of it. Uh, Julie and I work at Morgan Stanley in the Pearl River, uh, New York office. We're part of a four-person team. We manage about $400 million in assets. Uh, particularly, we work with individuals and businesses on retirement planning, insurance, lending, uh, and also estate planning as part of the core four that we work with. Uh, we also have some focuses on helping with raising capital. Uh, as we know, that's a big thing with entrepreneurs. Uh, capital is always needed. And so Morgan Stanley, if we don't do it, we partner with 13 other boutique firms that have specialties, whether it's technology, media, and other sectors of industries, uh, we can partner up with them, so we try to really become a resource. Even if it's not us, try to lead you in the right direction. Uh, Julie will talk a little bit more specifics. So what makes us different than every other financial firm around? Uh, so first of all, one of the things we're really focused on is um, customer service, making sure that if we have a retirement plan that we go out to the people's um, company and educate their employees and make sure that they're really reflect where they are in their life cycle. Um, something that I'm really passionate about is something called sustainable investing. That is something that's growing. It's up to $9 trillion. It's growing by about 30% every year. And uh, sustainable means that you know, it sustains long term. So a lot of endowments and retirement funds and a lot of pensions are investing in this manner. Um, the thing about it is it's got a three-pronged approach. So it's less volatile than the average uh, investment, which then doesn't mean that you don't make money, but when the market corrects, it's down about half of what other investments are. Um, it also does make money, so uh, there are some investments that have outperformed the S&P 500, which is really wonderful. Um, and then there's the social part of it, that if you really want to invest in companies that are doing good in the world, you can learn your values and your goals that way. So it's really a, um, a booming area of focus for women and millennials and also people If you have any questions, uh, one of the things we like to do is just sit and talk one-on-one -on -one with people and just offer ideas and think outside the box. So thank you all for coming. It was lovely to chat with some of you, and we look forward to future conversations. Thank you. Thank you.